Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 586. Our audiobook, Got Testosterone? is released. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today I have a, uh, an old friend and um, a treat for all of you who have loved our first 529 HealthCasts together, uh, Brett Newcomb. And he is here today to announce uh, the release of our new project, uh, our audiobook for Got Testosterone, uh, the book for men about testosterone pellets. I'm excited to announce that this book is finally ready. We've been working on it for over a year with uh, Aaron Ruppert at uh, Travis, Travisonic. Travisonic. Mm-hmm. I always have trouble with that mm-hmm. word. Uh, financial, uh, let's start this okay. over. Can we start over? Or, uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. just roll or just roll. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah. I'm excited to be back today to talk about a project that we've been working on for over a year. It's finally come to fruition, and we can announce that it is available on uh, all of the audiobook sources that you normally obtain your audiobooks from, uh, from Amazon to uh, Audible, uh, Audible, uh, and a half dozen others. Wherever you look for audiobooks, you'll be able to find our audiobook, Got Testosterone. I'm excited about having it out in the world so that people can listen to it, because we found that that people have different learning styles. And when we approached writing this book, which took us over three years after we had written our first book, to get it together, we were trying to collect information that was usable for men and for the women who love them, to make them able to make their own decisions about their healthcare directives, their healthcare issues and concerns as they age. So this is a, a, a book got testosterone about the issue of men as they age who lose their ability to manufacture a sufficient amount of testosterone, which is a hormone that we desperately need. And so there are methodologies and theories for replacing that. And we wanted to provide you with the information in the book that would allow you to make an informed decision about whether or not it would be right for you so that you could take that information and the questions that you have to your physician and then they could say, well, maybe yes, no, definitely, whatever they want to say, and then you have an opportunity to respond to that. But what we found is that even though a lot of men got the book, they would tell Dr. Maupin or Dr. Sullivan, yeah, I don't really read a lot. I, that's not my thing. I, I look for a specific answer. I look in the index and find a term, and then I look up the term if I have a question. But uh, why don't you why don't you read it for us? And so <laughs> Kathy said, well, okay, we'll get somebody to read it for us. And uh, I raised my little hand and said, I, I know how to read. Uh, so, so I read the book, and it is now available, and it is out, and you can obtain it should you want to hear it as opposed to read it. It's a good use of your time to be able to drive and listen to a book and, and get educated. And it's a different learning style. And Some people is. learn better uh, with an auditory mode mm-hmm. than... And we know that you can be tested and find out if you're auditory yeah. or your visual or your experiential, which I'm right. experiential. I have to like do something to actually remember it. Yes. It's more of a, a Well, you know, and what I, I'm curious about because when this book was published in twenty nineteen, it actually won an uh, international award. It came out as the best men's health book of that publishing year. Mm-hmm. And we're curious to see whether or not this will uh, also receive that kind of acknowledgement or recognition, because we didn't uh, we didn't put it into a contest. Was the, this, the publishers submitted it to this organization, and they selected it blind. So we didn't have anything to do with that. We're hopeful that we'll, a blind pig can find another truffle. It's an international award. So yeah. I mean, our book is not just in the United States. It's all over. It's all over the world, uh, mostly in Europe. Yeah. and other English-speaking countries, but I know that it, it is also um, sold and uh, ordered in Germany, but there are a lot of English speakers there, too. We don't have it translated into any other languages as of yet. We haven't found the need, but 
if you need that, then you'll have to email us Our first us book is us. in multiple languages. That's right. Our first book is yeah. in uh, six countries in English and in Portuguese in Brazil. So um, one of the reasons that we're really proud of this book is this audio book is because this it's whole it's all all ours. Not only did we write the book together, but even though most people have someone they don't know read the book for them, mm-hmm. we have you reading the book who wrote the book. Right. So that gives it a, a, a more di- a three-dimensional kind of a feel when you're listening to it. It's wholly homogenous, basically. And so that gives you more listening pleasure. Um, I've, asked, I've been asked many times by my patients, why did you spend three years on each book? And why did you, now you spend over another year of your lives on this uh, audiobook? And that's because we both think that there's a lot of subterfuge about testosterone and what it does and doesn't do. And it is, it is the key ingredient, the key hormone for both men and women. And this is base, the basis of the book that you should not be afraid of testosterone. It is your hormone. You should get it back when you don't have enough. And that will keep you healthy longer and productive longer and also happy longer because you'll have a normal sex life instead of having to give that up with age. You know, one of the things that, that I learned as we began to do the research for the first book and subsequent research for the second book is that for men, sometimes the initial awareness of concern is they begin to have less satisfying uh, or functional erections. And so they tend to go to their doctors and they say, I'm having a problem with erectile dysfunction. And the doctor gives them a prescription for a medicine that will help with that. What we have learned in our research is that that, that reality of having that concern is a five-year early warning designation. Sometime within the next five years, you are more likely to have uh, a heart problem. And so you should get checked out. You need a more thorough check than just, oh, is my erection better? Does this pill help solve all of my concerns? The primary interest, the primary <clears throat> focus is their ability to continue to have satisfying sexual experiences. But our concern is, what's the quality of your health as you age? What issues other than any sexual concerns might you also have that subsequently cause the diseases of aging that many of us are so familiar with? And so if you lose your muscle strength, if you lose your balance, if you have to have a walker or a cane uh, or a wheelchair, you know, if, are there ways that you can avoid that? Is there something that you can do? Uh, and, and Dr. Maupin's office, Dr. Sullivan's office, Focus on all of these ingredients. When you, when you have an interview with them, they want to talk to you about your diet. They want to talk to you about your exercise. They want to talk to you about weight management. They want to talk to you about your health history. And they want to talk to you about uh, your exercise regimen, all of which combines to help you in the aging process. But it all begins with the fundamental reality that you need your testosterone replaced at levels that they have found work with their extensive number of patients. And there's sometimes... Other physicians who are not as familiar or knowledgeable that don't specialize in this area of treatment have an initial reaction of concern. Oh, this is too much. Your testosterone score is too high. And they don't know or they don't take the time to understand the distinction that needs to be made between free testosterone and total testosterone, why there is a distinction and what it matters with regard to the distinction. Dr. Sullivan and Dr. Maupin know this information. The books provide this information, both the secret female hormone and gut testosterone, so that you have access to the information. And you can take that to your physician, or you can come and see uh, Dr. Maupin or Dr. Sullivan here in our area, Kansas City and St. Louis area in Missouri, uh, although you have people that come from all over the United States mm-hmm. and all over the world. Before but COVID, are, we had a lot of people coming from all over the world. But but there are other physicians in other areas mm-hmm. now that have begun to specialize mm-hmm. just the way that you have. Mm-hmm. I mean, you've been a trailblazer, mm-hmm. and these books help establish that information more broadly in multiple countries, so mm-hmm. that doctors become familiar with it and can begin to treat their patients in similar ways. The more patients that actually aren't aren't motivated by fear, the fear that is really unfounded about testosterone. It's not high testosterone that causes prostate cancer. It's low testosterone. So if you're concerned about taking testosterone because your your um, testosterone level is low, then you should be more worried about prostate cancer because your testosterone level is low, not about taking testosterone. Right. Because bringing it back to normal really does help you prevent prostate cancer or prolong the, 
the time before you develop prostate cancer. So, so that is really the truth, and there's a lot of studies behind it which we cite. And so for doctors, that's important. They can look up these different, uh, these different uh, articles and different research articles uh, if they're concerned about our, where we got our information. But what, we, we also yes. want to give a shout out as we, as we introduce the awareness that this book is now available in audio form to a couple of people. Uh, our first book, The Secret Female Hormone, was published by a mainstream traditional publisher. We had an agent who operates out of Canada, sold our book to Hay House Publications, an international organization that published our book in six countries. We decided that we wanted more control over what we were doing in and with the book, and so we began to look for an independent publisher. And there's a lady in St. Louis that helped us organize our thoughts and put our material together. She calls herself the book professor. Her name is Nancy Erickson, and she was critical to our pulling all of this together the way that we wanted. And then she also put us in contact with Aaron Reppert at Trapsonic, who helped us record it. And the recording of it, for me, was fascinating because I, I, in, in reading it, I had, uh, in my lifetime, I've had some experience on television. I had some experience on radio, uh, local and, and regional markets. And so I've seen how that is done and experienced it. But I've never had this experience. So when I went to Trapsonic, they put me in a little soundproof booth that was dark and, and coated with sound barriers in front of a microphone and, and a music stand and I had the script uh, printed out of the book and I would just read and read and would talk over the system to an engineer in another room. That engineer sat at a, a series of consoles that showed the voice range, the volume range, uh, glitches that would occur <clears throat> and he marked all those. You know, if I turned a page and made a noise, there'd be a mark that need to be taken care of and there's a range of volume controls uh, as your voice gets tired or as you stress out or as you swallow or cough or whatever all of that has to be managed so that they can take it out so that when you listen to the book you're not distracted by those things and mm -hmm. it's a very complex and complicated procedure and these people did a great job yeah and Aaron was the was the engineer I mean yes. he did the whole technical recording and and editing, and it, it's a it's a huge deal. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, you can you know. And then there's parameters that the distributors, who also were given to us by Nancy Erickson, you can find her on thebookprofessor.com. Um, so sh she gave us Lantern uh, Distribution, and they're who take the the audiobook and then distribute it. But they give you an entire list of requirements before they will do that. Yeah. And uh, Joe Ballman, my COO, and also <clears throat> he, he makes all of our health casts possible. He also uh, made sure that all of the art that goes along with the book, like the cover, was, uh, was made according to their parameters, which isn't easy, uh, to take a book cover to make it a cover of a, like a CD or DVD. So he did that part of it. So we're kind of... We're kind, I, I was kind of peripheral to this whole process, but I, I wanted to go back and say why I chose you. Because it's not that because we've done this so many times. It, it, it is, I mean, yes, it is because we wrote the book together. That is one of the reasons. But, but the other reason was that when we would go to conferences, and conferences where I'd speak or not speak, but just go and learn things, at the anti-aging community, um, many of the doctors follow us and listen to these health casts. And they would rush up, and they wouldn't rush up to me, they'd rush up to Brett. And they'd tell him, oh, we love your voice. We love to listen to you. Oh, you're so funny. I mean, seriously, this was, the, it, it happened all the time. And this, this one guy I thought was in love with them because he was just like gushing about how he loved to listen to his voice and his a little bit of Southern... Dulcet Comfort. and mellifluous yeah, tones. That's yeah. it. That's what it was. Those are the ones. Absolutely. Uh -huh. And so, in any case, I thought, well, if that's the way the physicians feel right. and their spouses it, feel, it's a little bit over the top. Everyone else, but, but it really everyone did else happen. will I mean, enjoy it. A number of yeah. people did come up yeah. and spontaneously say, uh, we'd be in conversation with somebody, and somebody would walk by and say, wait a minute, I know who you are. And they'd by listening to listening your voice. To, yeah. <laughs> and, and then, as Aaron was doing this, about halfway through, he came in and he said, I really, you have a voice that makes me want to believe you. Well, so, but it's easy to be believed when you're telling the truth. <laughs> one, one hopes. But yeah. anyway, I'm grateful for that opportunity, and I'm grateful for that reaction. Uh, it's, it's been a fun trip. All of, our, all of our projects have been very um, 
uh, altruistic and successful. Great. Because we have wanted, we have wanted to um, give people Spread opportunities the word. Absolutely. and to allow every man to make his own decision and or his wife to help him make that decision. So hey, that's a, always a good recommendation. Let other, your wife help you make a decision. Yeah. The other thing that I thought when we first started this, just as an addendum, we wanted it to be like an office visit. So we made it so that we have a questionnaire and then we have lab tests and tell you what they mean. And then we have basically how that's interpreted and what we would do with that. And then we have special cases. So we tried to make it like you were in my office it's not exactly like that, of course, but at least you can feel like you're getting the same kind of attention on your own yeah. and understand what we feel is important to decide what kind of treatment we give you. Well, and some of that is the information, but some of it is the experience. And I, I was actually having a conversation in the last week with a friend of mine who's a patient at Dr. Moppin's office who was going on and on about the intensity and the duration of a visit with her. The questions that she asked, the time that she spent, the understanding that she reflected, the information that she brought to the table. It, it, it's not a five-minute video check, uh, a bunch of boxes, and give you a prescription. They, they pay attention to you. They know you. They know your history. They want to know your issues so that they can make the best medical recommendations to you. And then you do what you do with that information. So at the end of the day, it is important to be an informed consumer of your own health care concerns. And one of the best ways to do that, we are now going to tell you, is to read our books, listen to our book, come to the office and have a conversation with Dr. Sullivan or Dr. Moffitt. Thank you for listening. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.